Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the HP Omen Transcend 16 U1000. To open this notebook, you have to undo just six Phillips head screws. After that, slightly raise the panel with a thin pry tool. Don't push with the tool in a vertical position. Place it horizontally in between the base and the plate, and fully pop the panel until all internal clips are fully released. You can start from the back or the front. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. Our laptop has a 97 watt hour battery. To take it out, pull out the connector and undo the six Phillips head screws that keep the unit in place. The capacity is enough for around eight hours of either web browsing or video playback. To achieve that, you have to select the balanced preset in the Omen Gaming Hub app and apply the Optimus mode in the NVIDIA control panel so you can use the iGPU when the power adapter isn't plugged in. Also, you have to select the balanced preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu. One of the screws has a rubber cap on top and you have to remove it. For storage, there is just one M.2 slot compatible with 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. The NVMe here is protected by a metal shroud that is fixed to the motherboard with two screws, and you have to undo them as well. The plate has a thermal pad on the inside. According to HP, the two SODIMs fit up to 32 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 192 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. This cooling system seems promising. It has two sizable fans as well as a pair of long thick heat pipes shared between the CPU and the GPU and one more for each chip. We can also spot two large top mounted heat sinks and two smaller ones on the sides plus two decently sized cooling plates. The one on the left also makes contact with the chipset, which is nice to see.